Hi, welcome back to Vela News TV. We're here at the start of Stage 8 for another episode of the Zabriskie Diaries. Dave, it uh, looks like you got the white jersey overnight. Mm, no. <laughs> I just haven't put the uh, sunblock on my back yet, and, uh, you know, we're in a hurry today, so just getting this out of the way. Yeah, well, we appreciate you coming off the bus uh, when you weren't fully prepared, but uh, talk to us a little bit about yesterday. First uh, summit finish looked like it was pretty hard paced set by Rabobank. Yeah, for me, it's very difficult. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I'm dying slowly. <laughs> yes. Was the, was the heat a factor for you yesterday? Yeah, the heat. Just, you know, my legs, everything is It's not easy. Yeah. Well, tell me uh, what the team tactic is going to be for today. I mean, obviously you have three Cat 1s finishing at the summit, rest day tomorrow. I think everybody's expecting some fireworks out there today. Yeah, and it's short stage, so there'll be a lot of attacks. And for us, we just stay, try to stay calm and follow the best. And if Carlos and Frank feel good on the last climb, then they'll try. If not, they just follow. You said you weren't feeling great yesterday. Is, you know, sometimes you hear about guys saying they get out of bed and they know they're feeling good today. Is it the type of thing? Do you know how you're feeling yet for today, or do you not know until the first 25K? Yeah, I'm trying not to think about it. I really don't know, but I should, you know, just need to finish and get to rest tomorrow and hope for the best. Well, hey, we want to uh, get to the reader questions real quick because we've had a ton coming in. Uh, people sending in to TV at InsideInc.com. Been really surprised by the number of people who've been writing in, and there's way too many to get to. But uh, the questions today, we have two, actually, that I thought were kind of fun, and they were sort of together. Uh, one came from Lindsay and John Myers from Chicago, Illinois. And it was, if you could be any animal, what would you be? I think uh, I've had this question before. Have you really? The answer is turtle. <laughs> Just sit there and chill out, live a long time, and when things get rough, go under your shell. Yeah, it's funny that you've been asked that. Well, you may have been asked this as well. This came from Mike Crawford in Christchurch, New Zealand, and it was, if you could be any superhero, who would you be? Ah, uh, that's a good one. Moon Knight. Moon Knight. I'm not familiar with Moon Knight. Yeah, well, I'm a comic book connoisseur. <laughs> we'll look that up and we'll ask you more about that one tomorrow. And I also, actually, just this morning uh, before I left the hotel, I had an instant message from one of the other pro riders who exists in the Z department of my Rolodex, uh, Phil Zychek. Yeah. And uh, his question for you was, <laughs> do you find it beneficial to eat large amounts of garlic? I do, but uh, we have to do it as a team because if I do it by myself, then it's bad for the bus, it's bad for everybody. It's it's unbearable. I got the feeling that maybe there was a little history with that story. Yeah, there was. Roy Nickman, I was feeling sick one time and he told me to eat like, I just cut him off some antibiotics and I didn't want to take any more, so he said, well, why don't you just go to the store and buy, you know? some garlic and eat eight, uh, eight cloves of it and I said oh, okay and I didn't really know the difference between a bulb and a clove so I <laughs> ate eight bulbs of garlic and I was just smelling like garlic for the rest of the year I think <laughs> and Phil is my roommate so sorry Phil <laughs> great well Dave thanks always for the time and we'll uh, check in with you tomorrow all right see you